Hello and welcome to program 72 and program 72 actually consists of two programs both of which have got very similar functionality but the uh, the, the syntax under the covers is somewhat different and the first one is using uh, an array and using TL new type legacy drawing drawing tools or drawing function and that is available incidentally for free to Goldpass members. And the second one is using the new drawing objects and using a vector. But let me just explain what the program does. And this is uh, uh, underscore P72 pivot te tester with BN point. And uh, what the program does is looks for pivots. And when it finds a pivot, it will draw a line and it will, it will extend that line to the right. Now, each time it finds a new pivot, it sees if this pivot is within a user-defined distance of the line. If it is, then rather than drawing another line, what it does is increases the thickness of the first line. And uh, it continues doing that until price goes through the line and then the line is stopped. So the extend right is uh, turned to false and the end of the line is set. Now, how do we know how close the line is? Well, that's using a user defined uh, an input. So let's just go to the inputs. Now, in this case, we're using a multiplier of 250. And what that does is multiply by the min move and divide by price scale to work out how close. Because this, this is a, um, a for, foreign exchange symbol. So we've got a, a fairly high multiplier on a E mini, you're probably more likely to use zero, one, two, three, or, or whatever seems appropriate to you for a particular time scale. Now, the idea behind the program is that if price is hitting, for example, this blue line here, each time it hits it, then maybe that line is providing some sort of resistance. And then when it breaks through the line, then uh, uh, sometimes it does that quite decisively, maybe not so much in this particular case. And what I've done is divided the colors. So lines formed from a high pivot uh, are set to one color, which is also user definable, in this case, dark blue. And those set by a low pivot are uh, another color. And you can see there that they set to orange. Now, as I mentioned, there are two programs here. The real difference between them is the, uh, the technology they use. Now, as I mentioned, the first one is uh, named P72 Pivot Tester. That uses the array and the TL underscore new uh, drawing tool in TradeStation, which I, I guess you could call the sort of legacy drawing tool. And this works, this works great uh, on uh, charts, for example, daily, minute, etc. But in terms of uh, second charts or tick charts, then you're probably going to find that it's not so good at um, knowing where those pivots are because it will only work to the minute level and uh, that might not be an issue for you. The other one uses the, the BN point and that does work to sub minute the sub minute level because it's using a different technology. It's using the um, uh, what you might call the uh, the tr trade station drawing objects. Now, I think this this program is uh, potentially useful in analyzing the chart, but also if you look at the two different programs, it's uh, probably interesting as to how you could go about changing a program from using an array to using vectors, or from using TL new to using the the new drawing objects that are available to you in TradeStation. The first program, the one that uses the array and the TL new will work in multi-charts. Incidentally, the second one will not. Anyway, I uh, hope this might be useful to you. Again, the, uh, the array program, that's underscore P72 pivot tester is available uh, to everyone for download, but it's available free to Goldpass members. And uh, both programs are available on the site for download. Also, uh, please, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to email me.